Hey, it's Steve Barwick here for thesilveredge.com. You know, one of the most frequently asked questions I get from people who make their own colloidal silver is how can I tell that there's actually colloidal silver in the solution that I've made? Well, there's a very simple test you can do. It's called the laser light test. And all you need to do it is a simple laser pointer light like this one. You can pick these up at Walmart for three or four bucks. Very inexpensive. And what you do is you pour a glass of colloidal silver, we've got one here, and you pour a glass of steam distilled water, pure steam distilled water, we've got one right here, and you go into a dark room, a dark closet or any room that's completely dark, and you take the laser pointer light and you shine it through the glasses. When you shine it through the glass with steam distilled water, you'll get zero laser beam. And the reason for that is there's no mineral content in steam distilled water. There's nothing for the laser light to shine off of, to reflect off of. But when you shine it through the uh, glass full of colloidal silver, you'll get a nice red beam. Sometime it'll be faint, sometime it'll be bright. It depends upon the concentration of colloidal silver in the glass, as well as the size of the silver particles. Larger silver particles will create a brighter reflection, a brighter red light, and smaller silver particles will create a less bright reflection. So we're not in a dark room right now, uh, but for the sake of the camera, we have to, uh, we have to do this in, in, uh, in a well-lit room. So let's take a look and see. This is the glass with colloidal silver. And as you can see, you get a bright red beam when you shine through the glass of colloidal silver. But when you move over to the glass of pure steam distilled water, you get no beam at all. So there's your test right there. It's the most simplest way to determine without a laboratory test that you've actually got silver particles in your uh, batch of colloidal silver. Now there are some other tests you can do. Uh, one of them is called a uh, TDS meter test. Some people call them PPM meters. And they're 30, 40, 50 dollar meters that you can put in the, in the glass of colloidal silver and it'll give you a reading. But they're highly inaccurate. The reason for that is they're total dissolved solids meters. Colloidal silver is not a dissolved solid, it's a suspended particulate, okay? So big difference, and that's why you get such wild variations on a total dissolved solids meter. But this simple test, shining the red laser light into the glass, you get that bright red beam, and then shining it into the glass that's steam distilled water, you get no beam at all proves to you that your colloidal silver generator is making millions upon millions of tiny microscopic silver particles. Okay, one last little bit of wisdom. When you take your glasses into that dark closet and you're doing this test, make sure you don't shine the laser beam into your eyes. It is a laser light and it can damage your eyes. So uh, just be very careful, okay? And other than that, this is a great test to determine whether or not your colloidal silver generator is actually producing colloidal silver. Don't forget, there's more great videos on making and using colloidal silver at the silveredge.com website. Be sure to check them out.